This is a sponsored lecture that we have been using Harmony for over a year and a half now. So what's the real challenge in eye care? It's, and what uh, Assistant Professor Pashalish was saying, it's the amount of information we get on every single day. It's the 100 different diagnostic screens on every machine you have. It's the printouts that we have in stacks of papers. And it's when you have years and years of patient files clogging up your archives. So how do you rectify this problem? If you take an IL master scan of a patient, you're going to end up with seven to eight pages of text. If you print out every single screen in the PME software, as my dear friend, Professor Vinciguerra is going to tell you, it's 20 different pages you can print. So how do you do this? Do you put all of that in print, or do you need one central solution where all the diagnostics from your patient are available as they're getting scanned? And this is where you come with Harmony. The name is Harmony because it harmonizes all the devices from every single manufacturer on the planet into one single massive database. And if you have multiple locations like we have now, the ability to see what my colleagues in Sarajevo, Split, or Budva have for their patients makes decision making a lot easier. So what is Harmony? It's a data management system where you have all the files of your patient from day one to right now. You can communicate between different locations or inside our building in Zagreb between different departments. I send the patient to the retina department for screening for CNV. My colleague in the retina department scrolls through the images, writes me a little note. So it increases speed efficiency. The management of workflow becomes a lot easier because I can tell my technicians what scans I want for each single patient so they don't have to go in, I don't have to write a little paper. They get it all digitally in one location. What does that bring to you? Well, it brings quality because first of all, you don't just get a printout, you get the B scan, you get the slicer, you can scroll through. And I see the retina people here nodding because sometimes you have the little map and you see the red area but you might want to scroll through so you have to wait for someone to get off that computer with harmony you don't you just do it yourself and as uh, dr pashalic said ai is coming so this is a big thing harmony allows you to anonymously send the information from its database into centralized bases like altaris for oct and it gives you a recommendation. So sometimes if you're not sure and your colleague is not picking up that phone, maybe there's an AI agent that can help you. So how do we do it? You take your OCTs, fundus cameras, slit cameras, topographers, video, uh, visual fields, everything, including the auto refraction gets recorded into Harmony. And it's all in one place. You don't have to have those stacks of paper anymore. And some of my friends already use this. It has uh, many different systems, but the problem is usually the systems are branded by a company like Zeiss Forum or maybe IBM Solution, which now doesn't work anymore. The thing is, they were mostly working with their own equipment, but the, the, the thing about Harmony is it doesn't care. It can be an optical OCT, it can be a Topcon refractor, it can be an Oculus Pentacam, it is going to work perfectly. The, the viewer is multimodal. You can view it on your phone. You can check your patient's retina, fundus, or topography using your phone. That's how easy it is. Completely neutral to your vendors, completely secure. The viewer is amazing because you can stack this picture from four weeks ago and here, and there's an easy way to print the image for your patient for reference so they can see the improvement they're having. As far as artificial intelligence, for now, they've been integrated with Altaris, um, Opti, Girona, and Retina Site and Retina Analyze. Those are retina-based models, which are very good for early diabetic retinopathy check using just a fundus photo and tracking these patients. But AI is going to help us make decisions, especially in refractive surgery, and in the future, in planning of these therapeutic cases using smart software that's going to remodel and tell you how the cornea is going to look, not tomorrow, but in a year or so. And I hope we'll be able to present some data on it very soon. As far as screening options, there is a great opportunity if you have multiple locations, especially one where there is just the basic diagnostic equipment. So you can take photos, 
and sent to a secondary center for screening, which is very good in multi-center locations. As far as data security, they say they're secure, and we're going to trust them with that. And the thing is, it does have an archive, and we have built up our archive here in Zagreb in six months, so we keep having to expand storage. But it's a lot easier to expand the hard drive than find more racks to store paperwork. 